Hi Crafty Friends, this is Nye with All Things Were Created. Today this video is the assembly of the Valentine's Day mailbox. I'm going to be using my art glitter glue. I love this stuff. It dries clear, it doesn't warp my cardstock. It's my favorite. <laughs> I am also going to be using a ruler and a bone folder. I'll be using these to really help to just define some of the score lines that we made when we were cutting out some of the different file pieces. Okay, so that's it. Let's get started right away. First up, we're gonna start with these, this little box here. Um, this little box will be part of the doorknob for the front of the mailbox door. And so what I'm doing is I'm just going along the edges where I have my score lines and just folding those little bits down. I'm just going to finish this part here. And now I'm just going to bend along the bigger parts of the box and just kind of shape it into that shape of the box there. And that looks pretty good. I'm just making sure everything's bent. And then I'm just going to glue those tabs that I just folded. So the score lines that were created, they made tabs. And so I'm just gonna glue these pieces to the flap and I'm gonna hold it there for just a second. These are really tiny flaps and so it's a little bit harder. Um, it keeps coming undone here. Let me just press it down again a little bit more. All right, that looks like it might hold now. Let me do the other side. And okay. So now I'm just going to add the glue to the next two tabs here. And then I'm going to press that down as well and hold it so it gives the glue a chance to dry and stick to the cardstock. I'm just pressing on the inside to make it a little extra firm that hold of the glue, I'm just bending the top and adding now the glue. And the last side here, and now I'm just going to push it down inside the box so that way the glue will stick. It's just getting a little stuck here. All right, there it goes. And I'm just gonna hold it again so that way the glue will stick to all three sides of the box there. All right, that should be good now. Uh, it looks like it came up a little bit and it didn't stick there. I'm gonna add a little bit more glue right underneath. Just a dab there and press it and hold it so it has a chance to dry. And, uh, okay, I think that should be good. Yep, okay. And so what I'm gonna do now is I'm going to take the heart, the medium-sized heart that we had cut, and I'm going to add that to the top, or I should say not the top where you open it, but the opposite side. Um, I'm gonna add the heart right there, it's a little stuck. And put it, just kind of eyeball it so I can't see that box around the edge of the heart. And I'll put that off to the side. Okay, and so now the next part that we're going to do will be the heart on the door. I'm just gonna move a few things out of the way. And I want to add the hearts on the side that my score line is my score lines are visible. And so, oops, I'm just gonna line up where I would like the hearts to kind of be. I'm gonna stagger them based on size and color just to add a little bit of dimension there. So these little tiny ones are a little bit more difficult to pick up off the table. So my doorknob for the mailbox door is gonna go right about there. And so this will be Okay, so this looks good. You know, you can just really eyeball it. It doesn't have to be perfect here. Have fun with the positioning of where you want the hearts. This is just where I'm gonna put mine. And so I'm just gonna add the glue and I'm gonna stop talking for a few minutes so I'll be able to speed up the video here.
Okay, so now that looks good. I've got the hearts lined up kind of where I want them to be. And I'm going to shift this one just a little bit, but it's <laughs> the glue's kind of dried already. Um, so I'll just put that off to the side. And then the next part that I'm going to work on is the upper decor of the mailbox here. So I'm just going to pick up this white piece and once again, I'm going to add some glue to the back. Um, just follow along the outline of it there by adding the glue. And then what I will do is just kind of eyeball it so it lines up right in the center. Again, it does not need to be precise and exact. It just needs to look fairly in the center so that way when you look at it, you can tell it's not completely off kilter there. And then the flap of the mailbox, I'm going to use the side that has the score lines again, and I'm just gonna fold it here and just start to fold along where the fold lines are and the other side here. And then for the top part, I think I'm gonna use my ruler just to kind of help me make sure that I get it straight. So I've lined up my ruler right at the score line I'm just going to make sure that it's right on it because otherwise it'll get on an angle and that will throw it off. And then I'm going to push up the paper and just use the side of my finger and press it against the ruler to create that 90 degree angle and that sharp crisp line. And that looks good. So once I have it there, I'm going to take the red part of the um, flap and just line it up right along there. And so this part, you really do want to make sure that you kind of get it as precise as possible. Get the top of the red right along the fold line. And then just add your glue at the back. And just try and make sure you get all of the little pieces, so all of the little um, parts of where it would glue, so that way it doesn't flap up at all. And then... Once again, just push the red part of the mail right up against to where that score line is. You don't want any parts to be on an angle. You want it to be completely precise here. And then if you need to, while the glue's still wet, you can move it. And that looks good, yes, okay. So now we're going to be ready to stick the flap of the mailbox into the body of the mailbox. And what we want to do is take that white part and slip it right through the slot. And then you can flip it over so you can see it on the other side. We want that white flap to press down on the upper part of the mailbox body there. Okay, so if you need to flip it back over and just take a look and make sure you get it lined up there and then flip it again so you can see it on the other side and hold it, press it up to the top of that um, slot there. Check it on both sides and then take your glue and add a bead right along the white part. And then you're gonna wanna press it down gently. And again, you wanna press it and make sure that none of the white is showing through the front of the flap. So move it up and then press it down. Just make sure that none of the white is showing at all. And then flip it back over and just make sure that it's nice, pressed firmly on the back side there. And that looks good. Okay, yes. And then you can take the sides and then you can flap them down at their 90 degree angle and you'll be able to see that that mail will stick out just a little bit and it will flap open. So I'm just creasing it there so it will flap open and pressing it down again so it's nice and secure. And okay, that looks pretty good there. I'm liking this. All right, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to glue the door in as well. So I'm going to take it along the left side there, line it up in the opening, so that way I know exactly, and then I'm going to fold along the score line on the left side. I can just use my fingers because it's easy. 
And then I'm going to stick it in on an angle and just press it in there. Okay, and this is where we want to make sure that again, the door is right up alongside the, the opening of the cut and it makes a 90 degree angle. Add the glue right here along the flap. And then we're gonna, again, stick it in on an angle and then tilt it so it's at 90 degrees. Make sure it doesn't get caught there and push it in as close right up against the edge of the opening and then use your finger press it down to create that nice firm seal and allow the glue to dry and there we go now the front of the mailbox is looking pretty good right yeah looking pretty nice and pretty good okay so flatten everything back out and then flip it over and now we're going to get ready to add the sides of the mailbox. So for the sides of the mailbox, what we want to do is take the three pieces and make sure that the score lines are facing up towards us. And then take two pieces and flip them over. And we want to make sure that we glue the flap underneath the piece that it's being glued to. So not like this, but like this. Okay. So make sure you flip them over. The score lines are away from us. Take your glue and glue on the tab here. It doesn't need a lot. And then just line it up again, press down firmly. And then that should give the glue a chance to dry. And then take your third piece, flip it over so the score line is away from you. Use the glue and add some to the tab there. And then take the piece and glue it there. And then again, just press it down firmly so it gives the glue a chance to adhere and dry. And then flip it back over so all the score lines are again facing us. And now just flip up the tabs towards you for both sides. have finished folding the tabs, I'm just using my hands to go down the paper and I'm just kind of smushing it or running it through my hands to allow some of the fibers inside the paper to break up and not be as stiff and as rigid. I'm going back up now. It'll just help make it a lot easier when we go to actually um, glue the sides onto the mailbox. And then just go back and make sure that the tabs are still at the 90 degree angle. So that way, as we're going, we're not trying to also bend them back into the position. Let me just get these here. I messed up. And then we're going to take the top of the mailbox and line up the side there. We're going to count off now by four, four tabs. Okay. One, two, three four. Okay. Start with four. And we're going to take the paper and just use our hands and fold it right at that number four tab and really kind of crease it there. It's okay. And make sure that the tabs are still down. And now we're going to glue it along the bottom there. And so where we made that fold, is where we're going to line up the corner bottom of that mailbox. Okay, see it right here? That's what we're going to do. One, there. And we're actually, I'm not going to add the glue onto that first um, spot. I'm going to just add it to the second, the third, and the fourth tab. Because I'm going to need to put the other end underneath that first tab when I come back around. So line it up right in that corner. Once you've got it, make sure that the edge of the paper is along the, or the edge of the side 
is along the edge of the mailbox front as well. You can kind of see it there. So that way it's a nice even meet. Okay. Hope that helped. And what we're going to do is turn it as we go, lift it up just a little bit, take your glue and add a bead of glue right along the edge there. And then line up the sides and then press it down on the inside to kind of help it be secure there and give that glue a chance to dry. And again, just making sure that it's right along the edge and everything is meeting just, just right there. I think my paper is bending a little, so you might not be able to see it completely. All right, and that looks good. I'm just gonna make sure that everything stays folded. I'm gonna add some more glue now and I'm actually going to stop talking to you and then I'll let the, so I can speed up the video a little bit as I'm gluing here. So as we come now towards the end, right at this um, fifth tab, we want to go about one fourth of the way of that tab and begin to make that 90 degree fold for this second corner. And this part's going to be a little tricky because it's not going to be as smooth of a fold because it's not going to be right between the cuts there. It's going to be right in the middle of the tab. Um, but it can be done. You just kind of have to keep bending the cardstock and making it work to your will. <laughs> um, so I'm just going to keep bending it here and it's working a bit for me. I'm just going to keep going from the other end as well there. Just lift it up and there we go. It's starting to work. All right, let me get it from this way. And now it's looking good, okay? I'm gonna crease it along the edge on the outside to make it. And then I'm also, well, let me go back a little bit and fold it there. All right, now that looks good, okay. And what we wanna do is make sure that that last tab is gonna go underneath the first tab. So I'm gonna add my glue and as I begin to press it down along the line here, I'm going to make sure that I add that underneath that first tab. Remember, we didn't glue it. So I'm going to add it right underneath there so it stays. I'm going to define that corner a little bit more. That looks good there. And let me fold the. Well, okay. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to add the glue at that first tab and then press it down so it sticks to the end there. And since I have that opening, I'm gonna take the glue and add it onto the tab. And that tab is going to now glue to the opposite end there and make that seal. Okay, there we go, that looks good. I'm gonna fold it down make sure my tabs are folded okay so that's now this side i can flip it over and see yeah it's really shaping up now i like it <laughs> looks good all right so let's go back and we're going to add 
the back part of the mailbox. So let me start to line it up here. And I'm going to start at the same first corner that I worked. I was doing the sides. Okay, so I'm going to stop talking so you can watch. It's just going to be a lot of gluing for this part and pressing down firmly but gently at the same time because I don't want to crush the box. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my hand and I'm going to run it alongside the inside where all of those flaps are that I just glued to the back of the box. I'm just pressing down to make sure that they are secure in there and that there's no gaps or openings. And I'm just going to check this corner right here. Um, but I want to make sure that there's no gaps, no openings, and that all the flaps are actually adhered to um, the back of the box. And uh, I think that's good. And so, oh, I really like this. It's, it's turning out really cute. And we're almost done too. <laughs> okay, so what we're going to do now is we're going to score the um, flaps of the mailbox door. Uh, I'm going to do this, uh, I think, from the inside. It might be easier. So I'm just going to use my fingers here and just really make that score line defined. And I'm going to do that same thing along the side here, just using my fingers to really define that score line and make the flap and the same thing with the bottom here. Just use my fingers to define that score line. And these flaps here are going to offer a little bit of resistance to the door so that way it doesn't fly open. I'm going to take my knob and I'm going to use some hot glue here to add the knob to the door. I'm only using hot glue because I want it to dry quickly and I want to make sure that it doesn't slide or fall off. I'm just going to eyeball it right in the center along the edge there. That looks good. I'm going to use my hands to press it and make sure that it's firm and secure. And there we go. That looks good. And again, those flaps will help to keep the door closed there. And the flaps along the mail slot, that's just going to give it a little 3D appearance. I'm going to make sure that they're actually hitting the sides. And okay, this about finishes it. That's it, basically. It's done. <laughs> I love it. I hope you guys do too. It's very cute. I also have this index card and an um, envelope. So that way you can see that what we left is an opening underneath the slot where you can take the index card and slip it right in there or the envelope, which means that you can use it for like the kiddos Valentine's Day party. They can put their Valentine's cards in, open the door, and then they can get it out, right? So cute and functional, okay? And that's it, Crafty Friends. So I hope you enjoyed this craft. I'll see you next time.